First step, put Quick Easy Adapter in the setup mode. To do that, connect the adapter to your hub and make sure it's power on. Press and hold the setup button. While holding the button, click reset. Within two seconds, you should see the red light blinking slowly. The adapter now runs as a Wi-Fi access point. You can now connect to the Quick Easy adapter access point on your computer or mobile phone. Once connected, point your browser to the web address 192.168.3.1 to open up the setup page. By default, the adapter runs as an EV3 device adapter, but we want to run it as a virtual sensor. To enable this setup, go to Configure Virtual Wireless Sensor and click Enable Virtual Sensor Mode. Select Wi-Fi router name, enter its password, and hit Save Configuration. The setup page will start counting down while it confirms the credentials you enter is correct. Once the test is complete, you will be asked to reconnect to your Quick Easy adapter access point. If the Wi-Fi connection information is validated, you will get a success message. In addition, you will be provided the IP address assigned to your Quick Easy adapter. It's important to note that this address may change over time. See our website for further information on how to set up a fixed address on your Wi-Fi router. Now, click the reset button on your Quick Easy adapter to restart it. The red LED being permanently on is an indication that it's connected to Wi-Fi. On the Wi-Fi connection successful page, you may click the instructions link to see some tips on how to set your sensor type and measurements for your virtual sensor. By default, the virtual sensor starts as a color sensor. You may use a web request to change it to become a distance sensor you may also easily change its distance measurement or change it to become a force sensor and then change it back to a color sensor and let's try changing its color to green This completes our tutorial on how to use virtual sensors For further documentation you may visit our website.